From the time we're children, we're told to listen to our elders. Well, scientists have been listening to the story being told by a man who was born 9,000 years ago. His skull was found in 1996 along the banks of the Columbia River near Kennewick, Washington. And here's Chip Reed. It is certainly America's most important skeleton. It is an exceptionally rare discovery. It does not happen but once in a lifetime. Doug Owsley is the Smithsonian's top anthropologist. 18 years ago, he and a group of scientists sued the federal government and local Indian tribes for the right to study this 9,000-year-old skeleton known as Kennewick Man. We know what happened 10,000 years ago. The tribes believed the bones were ancestral and needed to be reburied. The court ruled in favor of science. I truly consider him an ambassador from an ancient time period. What does he tell you about how humans first came to North America? You have people coming in thousands of years earlier than we had thought, and that he is from these East Asian coastal populations. He was five feet seven and a muscular 163 pounds. His diet left a chemical signature in his bones. You find that this man is heavily, heavily dependent on seals. From the indications, lots of salmon in his diet. This man is a marine mammal hunter. His enormous right arm bone suggests that he hunted with a spear. His life was often brutal. His existence reflects a very strenuous physical existence. He has half a dozen fractured ribs. Add to that a severe shoulder injury, two skull fractures, and a spearhead lodged permanently in his hip. I think this is something that's intentionally lobbed at this man with the intention of killing him. This is a very hardy soul, and he was able to get away. One of Owsley's biggest challenges was recreating what Kennewick Man actually looked like. Sculptors took months to build this likeness based on the shape of his skull and archival photos from Asian coastal people. Kennewick Man's bones have been locked away by the federal government, but Owsley says there's still so much to learn, including what finally killed him. I feel that the skeleton is just beginning to talk to us, and we need to carry on that conversation. A conversation Kennewick Man has been waiting to have for a very long time. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.